Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Will Tanner Mordecai make the 49ers 53-man roster? The 49ers don't have many intriguing options behind Brock Purdy this season. Last season, they entered training camp with Sam Darnold and Trey Lance, two former first-round picks. This season, the 49ers entered training camp with Joshua Dobbs and Brandon Allen, two stiffs. If either one of those players has to start for more than a week or two, the 49ers are in major trouble. That's why rookie undrafted free agent Tanner Mordecai is so intriguing. The last time the 49ers added a young quarterback to their team, it was Brock Purdy with the final pick in 2022 draft. So he almost was an undrafted free agent. This year, it seems the 49ers have taken the template that led them to Purdy and used it to bring another young quarterback who is similar. Like Purdy, Mordecai played a ton of college football and is mobile enough to escape pressure and extend plays. So he's not a project. If he has the talent to make it in the NFL, he should be able to show that right away just as Purdy showed it when he was a rookie in camp. That year, Purdy beat out veteran mate Sudfeld for a roster even though the 49ers had given Sudfeld guaranteed money which they had to eat when they released him. Mordecai didn't throw any passes during team drills in OTAs or minicamp, but he will in training camp. And he probably will play in the preseason, too. And if he plays well, the 49ers will have no choice but to keep him on their roster and cut one of their underwhelming veteran backups. 49ers legendary W.R. Jerry Rice chimes in on Brandon Ayuk's situation. The San Francisco 49ers have yet to find a resolution on a contract extension for star-wide receiver Brandon Ayuk, with the two sides still negotiating as training camp nears less than two weeks away. Ayuk, 26, has looked for a long-term deal for much of this offseason, but the two sides have failed to reach an agreement as the wide receiver market has skyrocketed with the emergence of several new deals at the position. Speaking to NBC Sports's Matt Miyako, Hall of Fame wide receiver Jerry Rice took the time to chime in with his thoughts on the Ayuk situation at this stage of the negotiations. I think he would love to have had that security already, and he wouldn't have to really think about it, and he can just go play football, Rice said. But still, he has the opportunity where he can just showcase his ability, and it's a one-year deal. Then he can go anywhere he wants to go. Ayuk is currently slated to play this upcoming year on the $14.124 million fifth-year option before becoming a free agent next year. However, the 49ers have the option of franchise tagging their star wide out, should it get to that stage, with the possibility of that even occurring twice at a reasonable cost. As a result, the 49ers wide out is in a difficult position as he looks for that coveted financial security, with San Francisco holding much of the leverage in the situation. Does Rice think a deal can get done now? I don't know. That's up to management they make the decisions. They do all of those things. And we'll see what happens, though. We can't let that be a distraction or anything because that door, eventually, is gonna close, and we are so close right now, we gotta kick it in. With the uncertainty in the air, the Hall of Famer suggested that Ayak just focus on himself as a player and look to play at the best of his abilities in order to get what he's ultimately looking for. I think the main thing for him, right now, he's just got to play his best football. He's got to show everybody that, hey, look, I'm that number one guy, and if you make me that number one guy, I'm gonna be productive. I think his main focus, right now, Brandon Ayuk, is just to play football. Play football, and just let his ability speak for itself, and we'll see what happens after this season. The 49ers surely hope to get some progress ahead of free agency, as Ayak has not practiced with the team all offseason. San Francisco has dealt with its fair share of contract disputes in recent history, with defensive end Nick Bose's massive deal lingering all the way until week one of last year, while Debo Samuels came midway into training camp. As a result, 
both players didn't seem fully ready at the beginning of the season, which isn't something the 49ers should want with Ayak in a year that they're looking to go all-in on their goal of a championship. Report, 49ers, Brandon Ayak, Mutually Want Deal The Arizona Cardinals, much like the rest of the NFC West, have all eyes on the Brandon Ayak situation with the San Francisco 49ers. Ayak, in the final year of his rookie contract, wants a fresh, and massively more expensive, deal. The 49ers, still in search of a Super Bowl with their current squad, have been fairly political in their stance on keeping the Arizona State product around. All offseason, drama, and storylines have circulated around the future of the former first-round pick. Will Ayak be traded? Will San Francisco meet one of their best weapons in the middle of negotiations? The Cardinals have even been tossed around as a potential landing spot, though that's extremely unlikely. It's been a wonder where Ayak will ultimately suit up in 2024, let alone in the long term and all signs are now pointing to the two sides trying to get a deal done so he'll stay in San Francisco. I believe San Francisco wants Ayak there long term. I think Ayak wants to be there. And I ultimately believe not only will he, but he deserves to get that type of money, said NFL insider Jordan Schultz on the herd. The Cardinals, who face Ayak twice a season as a divisional opponent, wouldn't be too upset at his potential departure, though the 49ers would still boast one of the best offensive attacks with stars at every position group. One of San Francisco's biggest names in tight end George Kittle recently told NFL Network he's ultimately not worried about Ayak getting a deal done. I think, if you look at my career, being a 49er, and the way most of the contracts have gone I didn't get signed until the second week of training camp, Debo, Samuel, was pretty late, Kittle said. Nick, Boza was the first week of the season. That's just how business is done out there. I'm not in the meetings. I have no idea. I actually go out of my way to not talk to anybody going through contract negotiations, so when people ask me questions, I'm like, I have absolutely no idea. But I'm not concerned about it. Ix a phenomenal football player who's a big part of our offense, and he's one of the most complete receivers that I've ever played with. So I'm going to assume that Ayak's going to be on our team by the time the season starts. Ayak could potentially net around $30 million per season on a new deal, which would put him among the highest paid at his position. They told me that they didn't think that we're on the same page, and that they didn't believe we were going to, and that was about it at that time, Ayak said on his contract negotiations during his appearance on the Pivot podcast. But it's part of it, it's part of that contract negotiations, trying to sway stuff in either direction, so whether that's 100% true or not, I guess that's still to find out. Ayak also said he ultimately believes he'll be in a Niners uniform to start the season, but also offered, I feel like right now I'm in the right place, in the right spot, with the right quarterback, right now. But we're not on the right terms. The Cardinals play the 49ers in Week 5 and Week 18 this season, we'll see if Ayak is present at both. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Brandon Ayak? Leave your opinion in the comments.